morning, beautiful people. I am definitely vlogging today. Feeling like a fluff ball at the moment though, because this hair just doesn't want to sort of cooperate. Um, but yeah, let me just open my windows. I was supposed to do all this before I started filming, but you know me, very unprofessional. Um, and just kind of film when I'm filming. There's no rhyme, reason, or rhythm to it, any of it. Um, let me just do this one. Oh, it's a little bit chillier today, I tell you. In England, it's meant to be summer right now. Um, it's definitely cooling down. I'm so missing, like, going to be at my bar and stuff. Like, I'm looking at my garden now, and I'm like, it feels like a lifetime ago. Oh my gosh, it's been so windy. Our tables, like, fell over. Okay, hello everybody, how are you doing since my last vlog? My last vlog was a joke and a half, it's going up today in a few hours, um, what, what did I call it, gym party something, I don't know, um, yeah, so that, which I just wasn't happy with that vlog, like, it, great, like, I wish I filmed more at the gym, and I wish I filmed more at the party, I always say I wish I filmed more, but I just have to think I have to accept that, like, with, with me filming on this this camera it's just so kind of pick up and go and always something different I do need to though kind of still put a bit more rhythm to it because even when I'm editing and I'm watching it I'm like this is really disjointed like really disjointed so anyway starting the day today and we're gonna have a lovely day um with Nan I need to I was watching Yusuf of Armadi Yusuf Armadi I don't know how to say his name um I didn't actually even watch that video to be fair, I just had it playing in the background. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, need to give a massive shout out, massive shout out to um, Eleanor Neal. Where is it? Like every time I scroll through and recommend it, they're always there. And then the one time that I actually need her to be there, she's not there, yeah. Eleanor, Eleanor Neal, this girl here. You guys, I have been absolutely obsessed with her videos. Oh my gosh, like it's been the only thing I've been watching on YouTube, um, literally for about <sighs> every lunchtime, I just sit and watch it, every evening, every morning, like they are just brilliant. She's got so many, they're all true crime videos. So she basically like reports on obviously real crime that's happened. Um, also while I remember, this is super overdue as well, but I actually met a couple of subscribers in town um, weeks and weeks ago, and they were Ella and Layla, and I'm so, so sorry, girls, that I did not give you that shout out when I said I was, because, like I said earlier, there's no rhyme or rhythm, I'm so all over the place, but Ella and Layla, I made a point of writing down your names because um, I was like, I really must do like, a shout out, and I never did. So a shout out to Ella and Layla. Thank you so much for meeting me. It was so great to meet you guys. Uh, anyway, now we're all over the shop. <laughs> Let's start off with maybe what you might have seen in a mirror or something and why I'm looking a bit funky today. So right now I have got um, my Silken Lipo treatment belt on because I'm doing a video for these guys. Um, I'm so excited to be working with them. So this is the stuff here, let me show you. This is the box here, um, and this is the device, a targeted fat reduction. And basically we're doing, we're doing an eight week um, video of treating the lower abdomen. So I've already done my treatment here this morning, but because I've got the device, I'm also gonna be doing my own treatment. So I'm doing my love handles. I've already done this one this morning, and I'm on this one, and then I'm gonna leave it at that. So I'm treating my lower abdomen area. Um, obviously, you guys know as well, I'm still on a health kick. I'm still trying to eat well and everything. Um, my day to day, obviously today is gonna be like my day off, so I presume Nam would have made some food, so it might not be the healthiest, but um, yeah, so I'm looking super cute right now. As you can see, my stomach is like bleh. But um, yeah, got this treatment device on. And it's really, really interesting. I am so buzzing about this. As you guys know, I also had um, uh, fat freezing done about a month ago. And I I had like, seen that video and I seen what you guys said and everything. And I will do a video on that if you want me to. I'm, I already recorded the, like we recorded the start results with my therapist when I was there um, and then I have to go back actually beginning of next month so we're in August now I got to go back beginning of next month for my three month checkup and then I should see full results on my six month checkup so 
yeah but we're maintaining a healthy diet we're maintaining weight loss and um well, weight loss we're, we're maintaining the gym and fitness so oh wow my, my hair just you know what it's so being uncooperative recently last night i hated it too like we took pictures of my outfit and i was just like my hair looks vile i can't deal with this right now so yeah got the treatment on and that's why you might be hearing little buzzes now and again i don't know if you can hear it i don't know it has little buzzes now and again which is the um the muscle um muscle thing that it does so yeah really cool also i need to give a shout out to this drink so many things i'm just like i need to tell you all the things i'm loving right now i'm going through so many topics because i'm just like all over the shop i'm like i need to tell you so much um then as you may or may not know you may not know actually because i don't think i've mentioned it in a vlog before but as of last week, my best friend from Malaysia had moved back to Bristol and she lives here now, um, literally up the road from me, and I'm so excited. But I think I've mentioned this in a video before, but I've never made a point really. But some of you guys might may or may not know that I have a massive fascination slash fear of jellyfish. Like I love jellyfish. I think I've mentioned before on here that I, I'm going to get them as pets someday. Like I will. Um, I found the supplier and everything. I'm just like, <laughs> it's expensive. It's very expensive to, um, keep jellyfish. Um, but anyway, Steph shares this fascination with me. Um, and I was at Tesco's the other day getting us some Halo Top ice cream shout out to that as well it's so good halo top is like a tub of ice cream that's like 360 uh, calories for the whole thing and as i was leaving i seen this you guys sea world birmingham has got a new exhibit of jellyfish a jellyfish exhibit holy crap i no aquarium i go to like bristol's got an aquarium no aquarium has fucking jellyfish because they're so hard to keep like they are they are obviously like a pain in the ass animal because like they just they just jelly and they float and they you know they're hard to look after they need to be in like natural currents and all this stuff and reverse osmosis water yes i know all these things because obviously i'm going to get them one day um i've just noticed how this video has gone from coffee to lipo at home and now to jellyfish it's a very varied video and i'm only eight minutes in so that's great um anyway we're going to be doing this one day, me and Steph. I'm hoping that when she comes back tonight, she's in Malaga, so she comes back this evening, I'll pick her up from the station. I'm hoping we can literally go next week, because I'm like, girl, I'm going to get up there, I'm going to drive, we just go, let's go, let's do it. I am dying to see these jellyfish. I'm in such a good mood today, I'm like buzzing, I'm waiting to go. I'm loving this device, like honestly, so cool. Um, anyway, this is not that video. <sighs> I've done, I'm done. I'm gonna leave you now. And I feel like I've just put myself on the internet and someone is going to literally register me as crazy. I'm gonna go sort out this hair and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, let's make a move. Oh, teddy bear, teddy bear. What the hell was that noise? Oh shit, that's so good. I turned back then, that candle's still burning. Oh, I need to trim that wick massively. This is the Tom Ford Arabian wood, which to be fair, I don't actually like. It smells like an old person. So, shut that door so you don't go in there, mister. All right, let's make a move. Let's make a move. I woke up in Chris Brown's body. Alexa, radio player. Right, have I got anything to bring no, her in hands? Ah, I've got to bring her bag back. She uses that mm -hmm. a lot. And we're going to give Mr. Moo his chew. Nan's already rang me and she's like, the pasta's ready, when are you coming over? I was like, oh, I'll leave now. Right, I better go because the music. Have a nice day, baby. I love you. Okay guys, I'm still trying to figure out how to work this camera mount because I know it's shaky. I it does I like this thing has got image stabilization, but it's only so so good. Alright, it is hot, it is hot, it is hot. Let's put that AC right on. Um it's hot today and I wore a long sleeve. Like I could have worn my short sleeve, but I wore the long sleeve because um it's still quite windy today. Okay. 
let's go. Again, I can't see what this what this screen is filming, so hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, um, wait, we need to go this way, so. We need to go this way. We need to go this way. We need to go this way. Oh, I so love having a reverse camera now. It changes the game. Oh my gosh, no. Let's talk about... So I watch on YouTube, um, and I'm sure loads of you have as well, because it has literally had so many views, like, so many views, it's ridiculous. The Shane Dawson series um, of, like, Jeffree Star's life. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm not subscribed to Shane Dawson. He's, like, he's just not my cup of tea. I don't really get the humour. Like, I do get the humour, but I don't, if you know what I mean. Um, but I can appreciate him now and again, but I could not watch him every day. It would be too much for me. Um, but he did a video series with Jeffree Star. Now, I have watched and I am subscribed to Jeffree Star. I love the quality of his videos. I love... I kind of get his humour, which is weird because they have got similar humours, but I suppose because Jeffrey's Sometimes he does make me feel uncomfortable, but I think that's kind of part of the humour as it's supposed to. Um, I need to stop saying um, honestly, I say um so much, I've noticed it really badly. And in vlogs I don't really cut them out, it's only in sit down videos, so I might even start cutting them out, I don't know. He did this video series with Jeffrey Star and it was the like the life of Jeffrey Star because he makes a lot of videos but he doesn't do like vlogs so it's you know we don't really get to see his actual life he has a very successful company as we know and I just was so inspired by that series how self-made he is is beyond me I was not following him in those my MySpace days the first time I did hear of Jeffrey Star in all fairness was through his music which is crazy because it was through a friend of mine who was listening to that music and we must have been about 13 at the time. Uh, I didn't know anything about MySpace. I didn't know he was famous on MySpace. I just thought he was this musician. And I couldn't believe that Acom was the one who signed him. I, I was like shocked, I gotta be honest. Oh, that is a nice Range Rover. Oh, I love Range Rovers, but I wouldn't have one because they're so common. Um, my uncle's got a Maserati and it is beyond like that is worth 60 grand that is beyond me Range River is so common you pay 60 grand like every other person's got one here um oh that Mercedes is nice too um yeah so I could not believe it and I thought it was amazing and I thought you know like go can you go I'm letting so many people out honestly I'm being so nice today but I'm also forgetting where I'm going Oh gosh, I, I hate blabbing, I'm sorry. I might I might cut this bit a lot because I feel like I'm not talking properly. But yeah, he's. I just found him really inspiring. And then when they went to the office and like they showed his office and they showed how the production of his cosmetics, how many people were behind it, the warehouse. I was beyond like, because all we've ever seen on his channel is him cutting fucking Chanel bags that are seven grand and, and you know, um, just reviewing cosmetics we don't ever see behind the scenes and that fascinates me like I love I love like the science behind making cosmetics makeup I love it I wish I could have studied in it but it, you can't specifically study in like that one thing if you have to do cosmetics which is like the hair care the skincare everything most of it doesn't interest me it's just cosmetic chemistry like just um, makeup chemistry that really interests me so anyway, when I was watching that, I thought it was fascinating, and his office, how it's all pink, and his house, and I mean, you just gotta take your hat off to people like that, not necessarily just Jeffree Star, he, he is a loud, controversial person, but you've gotta realise that that actually contributed to all of his success. If he wasn't that person, he probably wouldn't have had the brand and the money and the drive and the company he does today. So sometimes I think you've just got to speak your mind. Yes, it's not always the best thing, but it it can pay off, you know. What, what's, what does Del Boy say? He who dares wins. I love living by that too. He who dares wins. So yeah, it's super cool and I'm still on a journey myself. I really want, although my YouTube isn't 
big you know I know this isn't a big thing it's big to me I feel like a little celebrity when I come on here and that's great but I, I just you know I know it's not big for me but I do eventually my my lifetime goal is to become my own boss and it will happen because I have the drive and dedication to do it I've been told by friends and family and even people who have just met me that they say you know you will be successful I can I can see it in you your motivation your your drive your just intolerance to not succeed is there and I do feel it too so I just love the fact that you guys watch my videos for whatever reason um and you know I I just want to keep you on this journey with me I don't plan on stopping vlogging at any point anytime soon whether I stop getting paid or whatever I don't even get paid a lot to do future I'm not even gonna like you guys it's barely anything so I really I'm not doing it for the money but it's cool to get sponsorships and things like that I love working with brands like that silken thing like that was crazy when they messaged me about a sponsorship and like the timing couldn't have been any more perfect I booked in to get my fat freezing and I was getting like into all reading up on all these different procedures you can get that are non-surgical and then they like messaged me I was like um I need to take this job because timing <laughs> Um, and it's so cool and I really hope it does give results but also just everything in general like being affiliated with Sigma I still find that amazing they don't really even send me anything they don't really take any effort but I don't blame them because I don't make makeup videos much anymore but it's just cool it's cool but yeah oh my god don't fucking stop honestly you seriously oh seriously seriously right now go and fuck yourself Ugh! stupid fucking bus did any of you see that a fucking bus was behind me and then the cars got backed up around the corner so he like went out around me no bitch not when you are driving a fucking huge ass bus do you make maneuvers like that <sighs> some people i swear down need their license revoked all right here we are regretting wearing this shirt now. Huh? Long sleeves and black. It's so hot. Hello. 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 Hi. What? It's only lunch time. Where you been? It's uh, not been long. It's only five past one. I know. I know. You never drink. And I think oh, a friend will come back today. No, tonight, Nan. Tonight. Oh, God. Yay. I got a shower, shall we? No, I just did my, um, straighten my hair. You got a stage, No, it's my hair. Look at the long. You all right? Yeah, I'm tired. I'm wobbling around. Oh, yeah, no, it's really hot outside, actually. I wore a long sleeve because I thought it was cold today. Well, I got the vest underneath. Yeah, no, I thought it'd be cold today, but it's not. Oh, I brought your bag back. Oh, thank you. I wonder where you went, the other one. Yeah, no, I, I don't know how I got hold of it. I never tell them with the English weather now. Alright, why don't we sit down? Oh, they're do nothing. The bruschetta's in there, maybe by the driver, you know. Oh, did you yeah. make bruschetta? Yeah, did you? Yeah, got them out of that. No, the um, French is sick and they never have. I'll go back. Got the bruschetta. Shut them. Cool, but he dropped his bone. No, I'll do that. I've got the sauce there. Just go away from me. Right. Yeah, it was nice and fresh. Is that, is that tomatoes from the garden then? Yeah. Oh, nice. Is that basil from the garden as well? Yeah. Yeah, and the boat. From the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Have you wanted a bit more sauce except you? Mm. I never cook too much. No. Uh, eh? No, I'm good, thank you, Nan. Wow. Yeah, I was 
Yeah, all right. I need to get some dry shampoo. Oh. Misguided dry shampoo. But it's £3.49. I'm not paying that just because it says misguided on it. Um, rice I can get at the least one. That one, is that 400 ml? For £2.49. So I'm getting that. Brilliant. I hate that when they just like, stick it on. Oh, deep fridge. No, I'm getting this one for sure. I hate that when they just stick on a name and then they like whack up the price. It really does my head in. We're in boots right now. And I've just realized I really like filming in here because there is no people and there's no music. So I don't get copyrighted and I can show you guys all the stuff. I need to get some nail strengthener as well. Um, don't need a brush. Don't need, don't need, don't need. I think literally I just need a dry shampoo. <laughs> Do you see that? The Hanam's like. Let's have a look at all the makeup over here. But I don't really buy any more. Um, oh, look, they sell EOS now. I don't really buy. Um, drugstore makeup anymore like that's not me being snobby I just don't like I don't buy any makeup anymore to be fair but um don't think I need anything far don't think so I just need the nail section so oh my god that's my favorite face wash how is it five pound 25 now it's, it used to be three pounds joke I tell you joke we go. So cute. Look at the new Real Techniques brushes. Oh my god, look at those sponges, they're round. Do I need? No, I don't need it. I don't need anything. I don't need, don't need, don't need brushes for sure. No, 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 no. Nails. Here's the nail stuff. Oh, I bought those before. I think I showed you in my last vlog. They were really good, by the way. Um, strengthener. Why is all strengthener so expensive? It's so expensive. Oh, what do I mean? Cutex all in one nail strengthener. Oh, that's a bit weird though. Treatment base and top coat. Oh, this one's spilt, that's why it's all over the place. Helps protect against breakage. Well, this is £4.99 and the other one is £10, and I'm, I hate paying £10, so I'm not paying it. So I'm gonna try this. We're gonna try this, let's do this. Oh no, what's that OPI? That's oh, 20 pounds. I'm not paying 20 pounds. <laughs> Look at Nan. What are you looking at, Nan? No. How can I tell you what one I want? I've got to get something. Don't one just put one. any colour in. You've just picked up anything. Uh, how, do, how do I know? Look, you've got to... Hang on. Oh, you've, right. got to you've got to pull that out. Oh. Thing. Have a look at the color, darker color I want the land because it's too light what I got. Oh, I'm going to have to put my camera away. Smell it good. I always Oh, that's really cute. I'm gonna try that on, I like that. 
This is not usually a shop I shop in, but that was super cute. Oh, they've got a brown one over there too. I might just try on a few bits. Why not? this so much. If I remodeled and had my own house, I would totally get this. It's only $24.99 or in the range. It's so beautiful. Can you imagine that filled with black and white pictures of like your memories? Love that. And then you've got like these, which I was thinking about getting one of these, but I don't know how I feel. I don't know which one I want. I don't know if I want to be bothered. But yeah. Oh, that one lights up. That's cool. Did you find one? The one. I'm with Nan at the moment. She's trying to find a photo frame. God, I just look like a like this neck line is not doing me any favors whatsoever. God, there's kids playing with chew toys and it's doing my head in. I don't know if I should get some frames as well, actually. I love photos, I don't display enough photos. <sighs> flies everywhere. In England in summer there's just flies everywhere. This jumper just makes me look like a size out here, honestly. I like want to love it though because it's from HRH. This is small to medium, like, and it's huge, huge. You couldn't even get small. Like, it was small to medium, and that was the only option, or medium to large. And this is massive. Like, I know she said it was meant to be oversized, but this is like, you could fit two of me in here. Anyway, I love it anyway. I do. I'm gonna try and style it different ways. And I think I should pull up the sleeves. That makes it look a little less frumpy. All right, making tea for the family. I've got a couple of really nice things that I want to show you guys. Well, actually, Nan bought them for me, so she insisted today. But I got this really cool book. I got a planner, and I got some shoes. They're not exciting enough for work, but... Oh, so good. I got some nail stuff, which you've seen as well. That sun is so bipolar today, jeez. Snapchat. What's the name? Granddad's feeding the pigeon. You can't see him, he's gone behind the thing. Yeah. He's an albino pigeon, see? He's a one to bring the van here for him. What? What? You're there, Now he's going to eat it. What are you been up to? What are you been doing? OMG. I'm changing my vibe, you know. Like, this neck, like, I was in that shirt today. Okay, first of all, it's too hot for that shirt right now. Like, cannot deal with it. Um, so, so, so hot. Let me turn that on. 
So yeah, I had the um, HRH DOCB. These, I literally bought these because she was doing a promotion where she finally did free UK shipping. And I went a little bit ham and I was like, I did two separate orders. The first order, I just ordered the um, this shirt, the DOBCH white short sleeve shirt. I think this was in a small to medium as well, but it is massive. Like this one, I'm really struggling on how to wear it because it just doesn't really do me many favours. Um, but I'm going to try it tucked into jeans because I think that will work with a really cute belt. Um, but I got that one on the first order and then I was like, oh, screw it. I really, really... <laughs> screw it, I really really want the black one but it was out of stock at the time when I ordered that and lucky, this was still out of stock when I ordered it but then it gave the option for pre-order so I pre-ordered this but this is the long sleeve one, it didn't let me pre-order the short sleeve so I ordered the long sleeve and then she just recently again did another free shipping and I was like do I order the short sleeve of the black and uh, just because I didn't try that on in time I didn't realise, I would have done now I did and then I got this necklace which is the like one that I've really wanted. Like I, I just really, really like it. Um, and I think next I'm gonna get her Orion, um, her Orion gold, the, the actual 24 karat gold one. But this one I really love. I think this one's called the LV chain or something. But it's very like punk, punk rock vibes. Do you not think so? Um, Anyway, that was that, and then it came with the beautiful AB pouch that she always shows in her videos, so I was really happy. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the few things that I got today. I'll put you down here. Um, so when we went out, obviously, so the first thing that I got was my dry shampoo that you've seen. This is the big one. This was really, really good price, so I got that, and I love the brown because it, like, refreshes my roots as well. Because I'm running out of this one. This is the one I had before that I get from Urban Outfitters, the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak dry shampoo but that's like empty pretty much um and then I needed to do something about my nails because I had gel on and then basically one broke and then they all kind of go with it um so I'm my nail lady's gone back to Vietnam my nail lady's gone gone back to Vietnam and um so she won't be back for a few more weeks. I was like, I don't really want to go to anybody else but her. So I'm just letting them do their thing for a while. But I am running out like of my nail stuff. So I ended up getting these, which you guys seen in the vlog as well. So I got this one, which I actually needed the strengthener. Oh, it's like, I didn't realize the packet's broken. Don't ask. And then I realized when I'm around the corner that these were on clearance. So I just got them as well. So it's a cuticle oil and an intense recovery thing. So they were literally £3.35 and £2.25. I think that was only £4.99 anyway. So I got the trio. Um, and then we went in TK Maxx and I got three really exciting things in there. Well, the first thing's a repurchase. I just needed to get another one of my Macadamia Deep um, Repair Masks because this is like more, like literally my favourite thing ever. Oh, I didn't even check. Oh, that cringes me out a bit that it was kind of, it was open. Hopefully not. They had a smaller one and then they had the jumbo and this is the jumbo one. Um, God, I'm getting so many tags. Um, and this was 16 99 so I thought, considering how long the last one lasted me, I was like, I'll just get the bigger one. They did have the um, oil treatment as well, but I actually still have that left from about six years ago. It's really bad. I probably shouldn't put that on my hair, but oil's oil. Sorry, guys. I've got, um, got like three different people messaging me at the moment, but... Steph's messaging me because she's um, on her way back to Bristol now. She's back in the country, but she had to travel from Stansted to Bristol, which is a uh, which is a journey in itself. I'll tell you that now. I got two books when I was there, and this one is so cool. This was four ninety nine, and I mean, like, I feel like the front could be a lot more cuter, but it's it's okay. It's fine. This is called Pretty Iconics by Sally Hughes, a personal look at the beauty products that change the world. And in here, it's super cool. It's like one of those coffee table books. Um, it's got all of the most like revolutionary products um, that sort of change the beauty game. And then on like, so one side, let's open a random page like this one. Oh no, that's not a good example. This one? Yeah, so like this one. Uh, what is it? The Rimmel Hide the Blemish Concealer. Okay, we'll change it to something else, I don't know. We find something, which one? Oh my god, do you guys remember these? I had these as a kid, the Mr. Mateys. Oh, that's the Rites of Passage. Oh, you got, okay. You got a Clarisonic in here. 
you've got for example this so like the Lancome Juicy Tubes and so it'll have like the picture of it and then it'll have the story and like what made it revolutionary and whatever and I just think that's so cool and there's there's literally every like brands in here that I love obviously they got NARS in here there's John Frieda Saint Tropez Shalimar Guerlain you know I used to work for Guerlain Max Strobe Cream number seven Ciate Privage Bare Minerals Clarisonic like, I just thought this would be really fun to flick through. The Game Changers. See that? <laughs> the Tweezer. <laughs> the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. Bumble and Bumble. Bobby Brown. <gasps> Bioderma, my favourites in here. Oh my god. I'm so excited to read this. This is a 4 99 and it's a beautiful book. So I was like, definitely need to get that. Um, and then this was like also a pretty cool thing that I bought when I was there. Well, again, I say I bought, sorry, Nan bought me this. Um, this is a planner and this is from August 2018, so this month, to December 2019, monthly, weekly planner. It says, and it says girls in charge, of course. It's so beautiful. So the first page you open up and it's got all these stickers that are like gold stickers. You guys know how much I love my stickers. I've just not got into planning for a while. And I just, yeah. So it's a 17 month planner agenda. Sorry, I'm just going to move you a bit closer so you can see what's going on. And it's just got all these really pretty pages. It's got these glossy tabs as well. So you can go to the thing. You've got special events here. You've got a year overlook. Oh, note section. I can literally, guys, you know I'm a business manager. So I always need planners and I still do have my planner that I use at the moment like a little one that I got from Paper Chase but it's just not doesn't cut it this is so good so this goes to February 2019 so this is really really cool and um yes I kind of love it it's kind of everything it's kind of big but I do feel like it's very like justified of why big like how big it is because it's just so useful there's loads of note sections I cannot wait. I'm probably going to start filling out Augusts now, um, like in a minute when I finish this vlog. But yeah, I think that was $16.99. So really not that bad when you consider like how much planners are. That's like a leather cover as well. It's beautiful. All right. Um, I'm just going to watch some YouTube for a bit and chill out now because I'm going to hang around until I've got to go pick stuff up at quarter past, um, quarter past nine tonight. So I'm just going to chill, live life, maybe lay back in my bed, put on my jamas, I don't know. But we're going to chill now. ...whether you think this was a very obsessive relationship or not. In the 87 days before Malia's death, Akmal had texted and called Malia 1,679 times. Ooh, he which, as a number like that, it sounds a lot, and that does sound obsessive. However, over a space of eight... Ugh, watching Eleanor Neal again. Just taking a chill pill. Chilling out. I've got to pick stuff up in one hour. So, just chilling. I had a cup of tea. I've got the lovely sunset happening that I can see here. The room temperature is perfect. Milo is just there. My world is complete right now, honestly. Um, yeah actually obsessed with this girl's videos honestly I've tweeted her and she's already seen them and said like thank you and everything she's brilliant and I've been watching her growth over the past like I subscribed to her when she had like 150 subscribers she's at 172 and I've only been watching her two weeks so her she's obviously getting like and I I seen her off of recommendations like that's why I clicked on the video so she's obviously doing very well at the moment oh I'm so knackered I was going to be filming a video and I wondered if you guys wanted to see it or not. I Well, I kind of know that you guys do want to see it, but I thought I'd just put it out on here anyway. Um, but I was going to film a video of why I don't share my urbex um, or my urban exploring on YouTube for the most part. You know, like I don't do like actual videos and I said I might make a channel and things like that. And that had an amazing response, but I haven't and people have been asking me why so if you want me to make a video I actually already made a video and I edited it and I just watched it and I was like I don't know if I can post this like it's so controversial 
and everything, but again, controversy sometimes wins. So, I don't know, let me know if you'd like to know a video, do a, like to see a video of why I don't share my Urbex on YouTube. But yeah, I'm so chilly, right? Chilly? I'm, I'm so chilling right now, is what I was trying to say. Um, got work tomorrow and Saturday, and then I'm off my Sunday. I've got no plans whatsoever right yet. I've got no holidays right yet. It's really annoying, but I've got a festival next month, so that's going to be fun. Anyway, hopefully I'll remember to film when I go pick up stuff. Oh, is it not locked? Hang on. Uh, I feel like I need to Snapchat you. Uh, You're home! Uh, you alright? Yeah, sorry, the platform was the furthest one away. No, don't worry, I got confused because when you text me, I thought you were like looking out the front, like which cars are you? Like, uh, you know what uh, I mean? No, yeah. yeah, so I was like, oh, okay, we go now. I just um, put filter. <laughs> I can be honest, so bad. I don't know. Why is it not working? Oh, 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 okay. Lady Gaga, stop. <laughs> oh, where'd it go? Hello. I missed you. <laughs> 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 Hello. 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 Hello.